So let's take a look at this course. Makoti Creek cuts right through the course on the first couple holes. The creek cutting through is actually the name of the golf course. It's a nice one, so let's walk on through each one of the holes here. Look at this. Here at Makoti Run. Now you got Makoti Creek that cuts through it. You got Makoti Run, which is the name of the course. It used to be an old farm by this gentleman here who gave it to his daughters that now run the facility. And I tell you what, 100 years, this clubhouse has been operating as a farm. And now you can walk on inside, get a beer, and enjoy yourself a beautiful round of golf here at this facility that has 18 holes located in Green Lane and more importantly is family run it has a driving range and all the other amenities and the course is just outside philadelphia but it doesn't feel like you're outside philly got that river cutting right through it so let's take a look at this 18 hole facility that isn't as easy as you think to get a tee top here built in 1991 it's still a very nice golf course to take a look at and you also have the wetlands bar and grill which is the original layout of the farmhouse there's additions that you saw with the clubhouse so ring the bell get yourself out here for six thousand four hundred and five yards it started as a creation for mr lloyd who has his cutout at this facility and he wanted to make sure that he had land to give to his daughters and the best way to preserve it was through a golf course about 200 acres number one is a long par four but it drops right off very affordable and reasonable if you're looking just to kind of enjoy a weekend round of golf you won't break the bank here if anything you could probably save some money it's got bridges it has a nice infrastructure that still sits there with the creek that cuts through it i think that's the highlighting part of the golf course it's wonderful to make sure that they name the golf course after that creek and I think something like this will be preserved for years to come as long as it still operates as a golf course. Now, the two daughters still maintain the property along with fellow others of family members that I believe that still work there. And they were extremely accommodating and opening to the opportunity to get some footage out here of this wonderful facility. It was at the tail end of the fall time, so the footage wasn't as vibrant as we wanted to. But nonetheless, because of the price tag here, the history over 100 years being a farm we had to swing on through and take a look at this facility it feels like you're almost going back in time it's a par 72 and the hardest hole on the course is number three which is the first par five stretching only 478 yards but you'll swing through this course pretty quickly if you have it to yourself you just typically won't on the weekends because there's a lot of play. There's a lot of people coming in from Philly that want to play this course. And you also have Sweetwater that I believe might even be sold. So this course might have to get really busy on the weekend. So we were fortunate just to get out here. Let us know down in the comment section if you've played this course. I thought it was nice. I thought it was a little tight in regards to the and also the tee boxes. There was a lot of elevation here, more elevation than parts of this county. You really start to notice it as you walk through the first nine holes. So sit back and relax. Get yourself a cart here because that elevation is going to play a big factor. I had it more of a linked style because it was pretty open off the tee. They did cut down, I would say, a good amount of trees as of recently, but they still maintain the original layout when it was first designed. And overall, I like these family run businesses. There's enough water to keep you occupied, at least on the back nine. You also have the wonderful creek that cuts through the facility. So you have one lake and then a massive creek that's pretty much a river. There was a drought this time when we were filming. So the expectations for the course wasn't to be as vibrant as it is. So rest assured, if you get out here and you play this course, you'll probably start to realize that this has a lot of characteristics that you want to keep your eye on. when guards to bring your friends out and trying new golf courses this might be the new facility on your list you have to go out here and take a look at yourself this was the number 15th hole my favorite hole on the course a beautiful par 3 cutting over the staple of this facility the creek itself i think there's a lot of fun history that still needs to be revisited here with the farmhouse 
I was lucky enough to walk through a little bit, but I didn't get as much footage as I like. And the footage that you're seeing right now is from the old camera. We had some technical difficulties, so bear with us at first time in 250 episodes of filming golf courses that this happened now number 18 is a pretty long par 4 that's 422 yards now the course itself if you were to play from those white tees it's only 6219 yards but depending on the pin placement the course could be challenging that's going to do it for our list my most favorite part about the course was obviously the tree on number 18 if you made it this far probably should have put it in the beginning of the video but nonetheless i love when they do these on a golf course that's going to do it for our list keep a lookout for more videos to come this is the parfessor an independent golf channel focused on fun affordable golf in your area